Kriya is an action undertaken on the way to the Supreme. Every person coming to this earth is born for a definite purpose. This is a high purpose of self-realization. Being born for one big goal, a person acquires a lot of smaller goals in this way because he has lots of desires. When a person is born, he or she starts acquiring knowledge which gradually turns into personal experience. When I was a child, I had a feeling that I had to achieve something in my life. I used to play, like all the other children, but every child plays in his own way, choosing play of a definite sort. I had inner vision. From an early age I had a feeling that this world wasn't something I used to see. To be more exact, I beheld this world unlike most people do. My life was full of interesting things and events, music, different images and creatures that I saw sometimes. But I couldn't tell anyone about it, because people didn't believe in such things. Children often daydream, so adults used to tell me that my eyes were playing tricks on me and everything was just my imagination. They advised me to relax and get some sleep. So I had to live with it and cope with it myself. But I also lived with questions. Who is God? What do I live for? Where did I come from? Where will I go after death? In my younger days, I had a great desire to practice something esoteric, mystical. At that time there were lots of specialized sports clubs. Some of them were even barred. I began to practice martial arts, studied Tao and esoteric in the way possible for that time, recalled a lot of things. Then there were two years of army service. While I was in the army, I also practiced everything I could. But when I came back home, I set a clear goal for myself, to reach salvation. Since that moment I began to work hard, because my aim of salvation haunted me. Every day I spent hours deep within myself. At the same time, I had to work hard supporting my family. Apart from this, I studied different esoteric systems, branches of yoga, including Raja Yoga, and did severe pranayamas. I had some colleagues who we worked together with. We specialized in martial arts, studying some ancient schools, primarily of internal and semi-internal systems. However, I did it not for the sake of martial arts themselves, but for the sake of body alchemy. So, the combination of all these things and events makes my life experience. This story is rather sketchy, because it's impossible to tell about everything in a short time. But I want to say that my teachers always helped me. They often came and showed me lots of things. Sai Baba came too. He blessed me and showed me a lot. He gave me a chance to recall different things, but these reminiscences used to come during my inner work, when I was deep within myself. We can't get such things doing nothing. We should practice. One of the deepest experiences I had was dying. I was dying during a week when my body passed into another state and then came back to life again. It was an amazing experience. Then there were states of deep meditation, including samadhi. It happened spontaneously. Then these spontaneous states turned into conscious practice, which led to acquiring deep prayerful and meditative states, including samadhi. I continuously prayed, asking the immortal Himalayan saint Babaji to give me initiation. I prayed for initiation for some other people too. And in 2002, thanks to Babaji's grace, I got this initiation. From that moment I started working in Kriya.
Everything that had taken place before was just preparation. I was only accumulating knowledge and events in a pile of my life experience. At that time, I realized the principle of unity and understood that all religions are one. It wasn't just intellectual understanding, but a deep internal experience, a feeling of oneness. While studying other methods, I was gradually recalling who I am. So, in 2002, I came into a new state. From that time, I was initiated in Kriya and became one who practices the sacred science of Kriya Yoga. In 2003 to 2004, I started teaching. I didn't look toward teaching and wasn't going to do that. It was Babaji who arranged everything. Sai Baba blessed me and said that self-realization was my personal goal, and it was about timing. But on my way to this goal, I could help lots of people to get on this path too. Then I asked Sai Baba to attend all my classes and bless my work. He agreed, and on the night of Mahashivaratri, gave me such blessing. It's a very serious process. In 2003 he gave me Shaktapat, bestowing me spiritual strength. All of us live thanks to this force. When a person says, it's me, me, me who achieved everything, he understands nothing. It's impossible to say, I, me, my, all the time. There is only one presence of God. But you can live in two different ways, feeling a distance with this fact, or realizing that you and He are one. The latter is the higher stage, when your ego, I, me, my, disappears, but your higher self, who you really are, is left. You should say, all my merits and achievements exist by virtue of God. This is right. Develop bhakti, love for God, devotion and service. These are parts of Kriya because Kriya is an action on your way to your goal. And this goal is oneness. When you live in oneness, though you can feel a little distance yet, you become a creator's counterpart and this is a great benefit. So, I couldn't turn down teaching, and now I'm a teacher. I haven't mentioned music. Music was, and now is, part of my life. God is sound, and sound is music. Sounds open our hearts and consciousness. The great sound of Omkar Pranava, Shabda Brahman, or Aum, Om, unites and sustains everything. It is the best music. God is sound and light. This is the trajectory of my life, in short.